All right, guys, today we have the Diabolical Underseat Lockbox. Picked one of these up the other day, thought I'd give it a try. So, local company here to me it was part of the reason I like it. So, we will unbox this thing and see what we get. And we'll throw it on the floor. Testing the um, packaging. <laughs> yes, we are. We are testing bubble wrap. So, they are a local Utah company. They are veteran owned. They are uh, uh -uh. just a small... Button. They are just a... Which button? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Vernon and his fancy knives. <laughs> so they are a small veteran owned, completely designed. They do all this stuff themselves in-house. They come up with it. So very tight with the local Jeep community. They do a lot of stuff like that. So why not give them some support? Okay. Running your knife is very sharp. I like it. Mm -hmm. Why would you not have a sharp knife? I don't know, but people do. It's like Christmas morning here. I think this may have the same problem as yours. Stopping. All right, so there should be a set of keys here somewhere. Ah, they're probably right in there. What's this hole for? Um, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. This is the first time I've seen this. A hole in the front. We don't know what it's for. No, it's actually in the back. Oh, is that the back? I guess that's the back. Yeah, that's the back. I wonder if that's where the... Um, the jack and all that sits. Probably. It's got to be where Maybe the Maybe the bolts for like the doors and the tops and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Somewhere in here has got to be the key so we can open this thing. Because it's locked. <laughs> can you not pull that out? Not yet. It doesn't want to come out with a bubble wrap attached to it. I mean, they got it in there. What we need is a woman to show us how it's done. <laughs> yeah, you're right, we do. <laughs> we just happen to have one over there. We do. Wave, Jenny. Wave. There's got to be the keys in here somewhere to this thing. Yeah. JR, make sure you edit all this out. Yeah. Because this is ridiculous, JR. Packaging, A+. plus. Yeah, no shit. Hey, the keys are taped to the bottom. I'm just kidding. I was going to say, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> are they in that box? I don't know. Let's look. No, there's nothing in this box. And there's nothing in there. Wait. Keys. Be aware, guys, the keys are taped to the outside of the package. We'll just call this episode Dumbasses Do Installs Today. Also facts. Yes. Just in case you didn't know, we've been working on Jeeps since midday. It's 2, 3 o'clock now, I guess. So, exactly how many keys? Good Lord. <laughs> they expect you to lose keys, apparently. Or are they all... They can't be All right. key different. Diabolical, you could cut the price of this thing by a quarter, <laughs> but not including 98 keys. <laughs> Boy, that, every lock's different. Yeah, so far, so far, every lock is not different. Yeah, then I have no idea It's raining keys. Hallelujah. <laughs> You're gonna have the same problem. Do you keep tools back here? Yeah, you saw what I keep in there. Well, you don't have that big tool roll though. No, I don't. 
But you are going to lose space. I am going to lose space. You're going to gain security. So what we're talking about is you gain the security of having a lockbox, a lockable box under your rear seat of your Gladiator JL. Nope, JLs don't have them, do they? Nope. Under the rear of your Gladiator. What you have currently is not securable, but a lot more room. So if you're gonna go this way, make sure you're ready to play Tetris with your packing. So apparently this is an add-on box. Where do you add it on? Uh, probably off this, <laughs> like we were just talking about. If we can get it unwrapped, because like we said, their packaging is A+. Uh, from what I can tell, guys, your stuff's not coming in damaged. It is so not coming in damaged, which is good, because you don't want it damaged. That's the unboxing. So far, my uh, third-party opinion, great packaging. Yeah, great packaging. <laughs> I have not Definitely seen... Definitely lockable and secure. Yes, and nice padding so nothing rattles. It won't rattle. So, nice powder coating. Looks like a quality piece. So, let's take apart the inside and see how this goes. Somebody tell him righty tighty lefty loosey. Well, if you didn't notice the gun was backwards, so. And now for my lovely assistant. And that concludes the deconstruction of your rear seat back box. <laughs> We're looking up instructions to this on Diabolical's website. There are no paper instructions. Good job, Diabolical, saving the planet. Yep. Go. All right, guys, there's two sets of rubber stoppers. There's a thin one and a thick one. Thick one goes on the underside to help with the raised part of the bracket, which I'll show you in there. And then this goes under the lid on the top so it sits nice and flush. You use the four original bolts that came out of it, goes right back in. So, we put the thick washer underneath here. So now you see it leaves a little ridge here. So that will sit just like that over the top of it. And then we get our little plate here. That goes right over the top, your factory bolt. Same thing over here. Another plate. And just like that. And then we use the power of the tool to run it in. See if we can suck it through the floor. And... There we go. Turned a little, but we can get it straight. That's good. We'll call that good. And there we go. And then we just repeat on that side. We'll go around and do that side next. The bagu. Okay, now we put same as the other side, little rubbers. Because we always want to practice safe lock boxing. Just, you know, we don't want little lock boxes running around. Always lock your box. Always lock your box. Realistically, how often do you think you're going to lock this? Um, probably the third of never. But, oops, wrong hole. Don't put it in the wrong hole either, but if you're using the protected rubbers, you'll be okay. You heard it here first, protective rubbers keep yeah. you in. Lock your box and protect it with a rubber. There we go. And that is in there, nice and solid. And then we bolt this piece in. And we have uh, dual little lock boxes. Oh, it does clear the seat, cool. All right guys, 11 millimeter socket. And then uh, 
There's little holes down here, but it's dark, so, you know, it's easy to see. Let me grab a flashlight. And by the way, guys, now is a fantastic time to uh, subscribe to my channel, because according to analytics, most of you don't. But that's okay if you don't, but I'd appreciate it. We're trying to make a thousand by the end of the year. We got a ways to go. Don't let him say he's short. He's trying for a million by the end of the year. I am. And while you're at it, my good buddy Vernon here from Crawlander, he could use a few subscribers too. We're both trying to make this work and having fun doing it and hopefully entertaining you guys. That's the plan. So. Is it all included in the same one low price? Yep. This is their complete one piece kit as they come. Would you go where you go? All right, there we go, guys. That is one lockbox. Now it's gonna drive me nuts. I gotta fix that though. Come on. Now it's fixed. And that, guys, concludes our installation of the lockbox. We'll get everything put back in it and show you what it looks like with it full of stuff so you can see what it has storage-wise. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got, like Vernon mentioned earlier, you do get a little less room with this setup, but it is locked, it is secure, everything is, you know, 100% lockable. Nothing, you know, and then your seat folds down and completely invisible. So I'll uh, give you guys an update on a later video how I feel about it. But so far, I like it. You know, it's a, it's a lockbox, so you get what you want. You lock things up. So right on, guys. See you on the next video. Remember, go out, have fun and adventure. So see you guys later. All right, guys, so I've had this box now for yeah, a couple weeks now. I've been playing with it, trying it out. Other than the little bit of space I lost by um, switching from the just the plastic divider it comes with, I'm actually quite enjoying it. I was able to get 95% of the stuff I had under there, back under there. The rest of it is in that little tote over there. And for what I do, I tend to have a bunch of stuff with me all the time so for recoveries and that so but it is nice to be able to uh like i said shut this open that up drop that down in there and this this nice rubber floor here it's fantastic no rattling no noise they you know they thought about this put that there too so no rattling so nice and quiet guys and uh, love it, actually. Quite enjoying it. Definitely worth it. If you guys are interested, there'll be a link down in the description below for Diabolical. Uh, it's just a regular link, nothing special. I don't get any discounts or any kickbacks from it. I just really believe in their products and support their company. So thanks, guys. I appreciate everything you do. And uh, if you don't mind, give me a like and subscribe. So. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.